Welcome back, fifth graders. Mr. James here with your last day of the week reading and writing lesson combined. We're going to go through this uh, two at a time again because it's a short reading. So our enduring understanding is readers understand that texts have multiple themes and main ideas. And our essential question is how do readers determine multiple themes and main ideas in text? Our text has uh, some different main ideas. So today we're going to be looking specifically at the main idea of the text in chapter three and determining what that main idea is. So as we read today, I want you to be thinking about uh, maybe a one sentence type little summary that you could say this is the main idea of the text that we read today. So go ahead and take out your book and open up to chapter three. And in chapter three, we're going to learn about the search for gold. Chapter three, the search for gold. Mexico City is built on the ruins of the Aztec capital. By the 1500s, people in Spain were hearing tales of an amazing city in the Americas. The city's buildings were made of gold. Some called it El Dorado, the city of gold. Spanish explorers wanted to find this mythical city. A mythical is a word that's bolded there, and in the back of the text it says mythical means imaginary, existing in stories called myths or legends. Defeating the Aztecs. In 1518, Spanish explorer Hernan Cortes set sail with 11 ships. He was determined to find gold. He arrived at the land now called Mexico. The local people told Cortez about the Aztecs. They told him the Aztecs had great riches. Cortez led his men into the Aztec capital. It was larger than any European city at the time. The Aztec leader Montezuma welcomed Cortez. He gave Cortez gifts of gold and let him stay in his palace. The Aztec people treated Cortez warmly. According to some sources, they believed he was a human form of their god, Quetzalcoatl. It took more than two years for Cortez and his men to defeat the Aztecs. But Cortez wanted the Aztecs' wealth. He took Montezuma prisoner. His troops fought the Aztecs and won. Cortez claimed the Aztec land for Spain. He sent back ships loaded with Aztec treasures. Spain declared him a hero. Cortez's victory gave Spain land in the New World. The land became a Spanish colony called New Spain. And a colony is a land that's settled and ruled by people from another country. The Lost City of Gold. Francisco Coronado was governor of part of New Spain. He sent men into the wilderness in search of a city of gold. One man claimed to have found it. Coronado set out in search of this city in 1540. He traveled north for more than four months. Finally, he reached what is now New Mexico. There he found the Zuni people. They did not live in a golden city. They lived in buildings made from a mixture of mud and straw. Coronado was angry. He wanted gold, but found only mud. Coronado threatened to make the Zuni slaves. So the Zuni attacked him. Coronado's men defeated the Zuni, but they never found their golden city. There were no horses in the Americas before the Spanish brought them there. Coronado's exploration of what is now the southwestern United States lasted for about two years. Coronado took more than 1,600 men with him on the journey. This ship was built to look like the Half Moon, the ship that Henry Hudson sailed up the Hudson River. In 2000.
Sorry, we didn't need to read that part yet. That is for the next section of text. So let's go ahead and let me get my video pulled back up here and my presentation pulled so we can do vocabulary and we can do the write and response reading question. Oh, looks like this isn't quite cooperating with me. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video 